There you are. Hello, friends. This is a reading class for Wednesday the 20th, and we're actually doing really well getting all these videos kind of up ahead. My goal is to have Wednesdays done, all of Wednesdays done, and send them to mom and dads on Wednesday morning, which looks like we'll be able to do. Right now, we're all the way down to reading, and um, it's only Tuesday. So, but right here, it's about 4.30 on Tuesday. So I'm going to finish reading and um, maybe, maybe, maybe get social studies in too. And if not, I'll finish that up, social studies and science after I finish farming tonight. Um, so today we're on reading. We've read the whole story. We've done all the things to, to the story that we need to do. Um, except for the workbook pages. So today we're on page 199 and I'll show you where it is. 99. And I went out and checked on the birds and they just wanted company. They just wanted to be talked to. So I went out and I talked to them a little bit and I petted some of their feathery little heads and they all say hello. So here we go. This is the one we're going to do today. It is page 199. So if you don't have it, stop the video and find page 199. It's called, I Don't Believe It. Please find that, stop the video, find it, and come back to us when you found it, and then we'll begin. Okay, here we are back again, back again. Let's do our name and our date. If we look up here. I'm going to write our name. Name. Oh, I always forget to do those. M's the new way instead of the old way. Let's try it again. I know you know that you have to concentrate a lot when you're writing in cursive. There you go, straight up and down. There we go. Okay. Today is the 20th. Okay, and right here it tells us to read about tall tales. These are the directions, read about tall tales. It says, the Piney Ridge snowstorm is a tall tale. In all tall tales, things happen that cannot really happen, cannot really happen. Sometimes tall tales started as true stories. People told them over and over again. Every time a tale was told, it got further and further from real people and real things. That means sometimes people just made some things up to go in the story to make them sound really incredible or really exciting. That's how tall tales came to be most of the time. Um, sometimes they're just completely started out as not true stories. Tall tales have people in them who can do things that people really cannot do. They have things in them that cannot be real. When our country was younger, cowboys, lumberjacks, sailors, steel workers, and riverboat men all had tall tales they liked best. Okay, there were tall tales told about lots of different types of people and they are really a lot of fun. Okay, one of them is about Paul Bunyan. Okay, so here we need to fill in the circle beside the best answer. And again, we've been talking about this. 
Sometimes lots of answers can be create or correct, but you're looking for the best answer. So we're always going to read our choices first. And our choices are a sailor, a lumberjack, a steel worker, or a cowboy. And the question says, what kind of person would like Paul Bunyan as a tall tale hero? What is Paul Bunyan? A sailor, a lumberjack, a steel worker, or a cowboy? I want you to decide, and I'd like for you to fill in the circle. If you think he was a sailor, fill in this one. If you think he was a lumberjack, fill in this one. A steel worker, this one. Or a cowboy, this one. And that brings us to the next part. Next part says, put an X beside the things that could not really happen. These are things that couldn't possibly happen. And let's read them. Paul walked slowly, taking mile long steps. That means every time he walked, his legs went a mile apart from foot to foot. Can that really happen? Can you really walk that far, mile long steps? If you think you can walk mile long steps, put a T for true. We're gonna change this up a little bit. Put a T for true if that could really happen. That couldn't really happen, put an F for false. Okay, so remember we're gonna put a T for true or an F for false, okay? That'll make it a little easier. The cooks were too busy to see the snow. Hmm. If you think cooks could be busy, put a T for true. If you think cooks couldn't possibly to be too busy to see snow, put an F for false. The next one says, the boys skated around the griddle with slabs of bacon strapped to their feet. And that was one of my favorite parts of the story. But if you think that could really happen, put a T for true. If you think, A, probably not, that's not going to happen, put an F for false. Next one says, Babe hit the ice on the river so hard that it fell as hail all the way to Texas. If you think it could fall all the way to Texas, put a T for true. If you think that's probably not true, Put an F for false. Next one says the logs floated down the river to the sawmill. And remember I told you this is actually how they got logs to the sawmill. They floated them down the river so they were not too heavy to carry. The water carried them and they floated. So if you think this could really happen, put a T for true. You think, no, 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 no. Put an F for false. And then this last one says, babe, drink all the water in the river. You think she can drink all the water in the river? Put a T for true. You don't think that could happen? Put an F for false. Good job on this one. That one went pretty quick. Now this back page right here, don't do that yet. That's the one we're going to do for homework on Thursday. But remember, tonight is Wednesday, so there is, or um, yes. Tonight is Wednesday, so there won't be any homework tonight. I've already put your homework up for, wait a minute, I don't even know what day it is. This is video for Wednesday and you won't have homework for Wednesday. So you did have homework for Tuesday. Now I'm getting okay. Oh, you can tell I've been doing a lot of these. I'm getting very tired. Okay, but there you have it. So don't do this page, just do today's page, 199. All right? I'll stop my sharing, I'll stop recording, and I'll see you shortly for social studies.